Hi guys, good morning. Oh, wow, it's been so heavy going, hasn't it guys? I don't know about you, but this this last kind of, I don't know, 10 days have really, really been hitting hard. And it's, it's all that hell contagion consciousness, you know, that's being triggered and purged and triggered and purged and triggered and purged, you know. Just a minute. What's it? Oh. Major obstructionism going on all the time. Have you ever noticed that? Where, you know, whatever you do, whatever you're you're trying to do, whether you're cooking something or on your way somewhere or even just having a shower, whatever, lately, the last, say, 10 days, something seems to be wanting to trip you up. Like, almost like trying to kill you, you know, you hear of freak bathroom accidents and it makes you think, wow, yeah, I want that, you know. Seriously, it's like unprecedented. Um, and just friction between people, a lot of that, because shadow, you know, hell consciousness is being stirred and and to be honest, in some ways, right here, I am at the end of my tether with this bullshit, you know, with human relationships. I'm fucking tired of it. I'm fed up because... Oh, do fuck off. Do you see what I mean? It's like, okay, somebody has to... Yeah, I'm fucking typical. That's right, mate, go and go straight into that lamppost. <gasps> I'm sick of it. I'm sick of um, being the one who gives compassion to people, who gives empathy to people, who listens to people, who is there for people, and to not get any of it fucking back. Quite the opposite. I mean, on Facebook, you know, or just in the general, in my life, people that I know, that whatever. And it's always the same. They get in touch with me on my mobile, which is your cell phone, whatever, or whatever. They come knocking on my door. Oh, this is going on and that's going on and that's going on. And these are not narcissist people, because people like that are no longer in my life. These are just people going through shit. But it does not occur to them. And nor do they listen when I say, oh yeah, I know what you mean, I'm not feeling great myself, as it happens. Oh, fucking go and bloody blow yourself up, motherfucker, what the fuck? It's like half past five in the morning. Whoa, shit, guys. I mean, seriously, I feel combustible this morning, I really do, I've just had enough. I mean, I care about people. I care that they're going through this. I care that they feel like shit, but I feel like shit. And I could also do with a little bit of TLC, but I ain't getting any from anyone. Quite the reverse. There's misunderstandings, people not hearing me when I speak about this is what I feel about this or that, or can you please not do that? Because, you know, um, People doing things like right? this guy that lives above me keeps doing something um, in the backyard that I don't want him to do because it affects wildlife. Um, or this woman who chucks bread there for, you know, the birds, which I really just, I keep asking her not to do it. It's really bad for the wildlife and they just keep doing it anyway. Um, you know, this woman as well, because she's had a vaccine and she's been feeling consequentially really shitty and she comes knocking on my door and whining about that and I have nothing to say to her I really don't because I already said it to her before she had it already said it to her um, I mean do I have something written on my forehead that says please come and tell me all your trouble but don't give a fuck about me on Facebook you know it's like the same. 
Why is it so difficult for people to have a little bit of care and empathy for others? Why are they that self-absorbed in their own shit that they don't understand that, oh, this is how it feels to feel like absolute shit. So if somebody else feels that way, I have empathy for them because I know what it's like to feel like this. And if they feel that way, then I feel, you know, empathy for that person. I have compassion for that. It's called putting yourself in on somebody else's shoes. And also, when you do that, you'll find it, it is a healing thing. You know, it's a healing thing because you care about other people. You know that you're not alone. You can talk about it by sharing, not dumping on each other, not dumping, going on about how shitty you feel, on and on, and not, and, and not hearing the other person saying, yeah, I don't feel very good either, so please don't dump on me. If you, you know, let's, let's talk about how we feel, but in a kind of constructive, solution-focused manner, right? Because I'm all for solutions. I'm all for doing the work but it seems to me that there are people that simply just don't want to go there they don't want to go that deeply within themselves to the very dark places they don't want to go there they don't really want to do the work it gets they want to do the work as long as it's easy -ish, easy -ish and, and doable but when it gets to the real nitty-gritty no not going there not doing it not looking at that no so, we live in a world where everybody is totally traumatized and fucked up. And when I say everybody, I am not talking about NPCs here. I'm not talking about them at all, because as far as I'm concerned, they are non-people. So when I say people, when I talk about this, I'm not talking about NPCs, all right? I'm talking about actual souls, people, and they're fucked up. But you know, even people, I have a friend or two who are not really awake, but they are better fucking people and they treat others and me with more fucking care than some people I know that are supposedly awake. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm, I really am. I mean, I go through a lot here. I don't talk about what I'm going through because it kind of is surplus to requirement you know it's not what my videos are about really and you all go through your own shit so it doesn't really it doesn't really you know I don't really feel like doing that but today I'm, I'm feeling really fucking low I feel really low this morning because I literally am feeling like wow is it really like that then that People just don't give a shit anymore and people don't have any more empathy. They really only care about themselves and their own experiences and their own journeys such as they are. And they don't really, really want to do the heavy, heavy duty work. They just want to egotistically go about their fucking lives and it doesn't matter how it affects me or how it affects, well, anyone else. They want me to fight their battles for them. They, they want to... You know, they fall out with other people and they then come knocking on my door or they contact me saying, oh, so-and-so said this about, about, about him and, um, you know, and it's like, yeah, what's it to do with me? Why do they want me to get involved? Why do they want to antagonize me and get my energy? It's like... I'm going through major issues here. I have done for about seven years with regards to my health, which is acute. And I work through my shit in an effort to heal myself. But it's an ongoing thing. And there are other things going on here that I'm dealing with. Increasingly, honestly, you know what, guys, I'm... I feel like maybe I'll call it a day with this bullshit and with this YouTube channel because I don't feel, today I don't feel like it's really serving any purpose. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't feel it is. I'm sick and tired of the underhanded, narky comments. I'm sick and tired of um, 
of just not being appreciated. I'm sick and tired of being taken for granted. I'm sick and tired of people thinking that they can just dump their shit on me. I'm sick and tired of people thinking that, oh, I'm there to fight their battles for them. I'm sick and tired of people thinking that, um, you know, oh, Anika is strong. I've had this my whole life. People seem to think that because I'm quite a strong person, I, I, I don't. I don't talk to people too much about my problems, about what's going on in my life, because I am the kind of person I know full well. They can't really help me, so I help myself. So people think, oh, Anika is strong. So I can tell her all about my problems and dump all my shit on her. That is what keeps happening of late. It wasn't, but of late it has. I know it's, it's to do with my own stuff. I know that. And I know there's stuff here, I, and I am looking at it. And I'm like, I might not post this video really because, you know, it's again, it's like... What's the point? <laughs> I'm so tired. I just feel so tired and I feel so disappointed and I feel hurt. I feel taken for granted, I feel abused. Somebody, you know, did something um, for me and, well, I mean, I paid them to do it, but it was a service they provided and they're nice people. So I sent them a thank you card and a little jar of Dutch spice, which is something that I make up. And I didn't hear anything, right? I'm thinking it's a bit strange, you know, because regardless of what the external world will tell you, that, oh, when you when you do something for somebody or when you give somebody something, you shouldn't expect any thank you or anything. Well, that's fucking bullshit. You expect at least an acknowledgement saying, oh, have received your little parcel. Thank you very much. That will do. That will suffice. I don't need any more. But come on. But I didn't hear anything. So I got in touch. Oh, yeah, I did receive it. Oh, thanks. Again, that really hurt me, you know, because I thought, oh, clearly you're not the person I thought you were. Then you start thinking, well, is it me? Am I just a really bad judge of character? Am I just a complete fucking blithering idiot here? It hurts like fuck. It makes you think you can't trust yourself, you can't trust anyone. It makes you think you're surrounded by just parasites. It makes you think, oh, nobody is what they appear to be. <gasps> I'm all alone. I can't trust anybody because people just are one, are one thing one minute and you think, yeah, okay, this is great, you know, you're a real friend and you're a real, there's a real connection there and they turn around there's something else altogether, altogether completely different, you know, it's that whole betrayal thing, I did a video some time back, betrayal weaponry. It's where you, 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 you just, it's, it's a very ho horrible, cold, stark and dark feeling of you are all alone. You can't trust anybody. They are not your friend. They may pretend to be your friend, but they're not. They'll as soon as, as soon as they can, they'll just stab you in the back and they don't give a fuck about you. All they care about is themselves. And look, they are there. They're doing just fine, you know. They're doing just fine. They don't have anywhere near the problems and the issues going on that you have. Yet they expect you to give them your money, your time, your energy, your compassion, your, you know, and it's like, wow. It's a shocker, it's a horrible, horrible, horrible feeling and it, it, it's so, it makes me feel suicidal actually, you know that, it really does, it makes me feel like, you know, if I didn't have my cats, I would end it, I would just call it a day. When you find out that someone has made up a, an entire story to get your, 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 your sympathy, they, they taught me this entire story that they said they had they were diagnosed with cancer and it turned out it was a complete lie they made the whole thing up and I found out how and it I, I, you know I'm literally I'm just speechless I'm literally speechless because 
I kind of suspected this person was a bit narky. So I was very kind of like on the periphery. I wasn't really getting involved emotionally. Because something did say to me, don't believe a word of it. There's something not, not right about this. And I didn't. But it still hurt. It still hurt, you know. It's like, this is completely mad. Ugh. Look. What a horrible world we live in. Sometimes I feel that, you know. What a horrible place. How cold and how lonely and how isolating it is. When people seem incapable of love. Incapable of it. They just don't know how to love. They don't know how to care. They don't know how to... They want constantly, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. And they give nothing back. Not a fucking thing. Oh, man. Maybe it's peculiar as well to this country because English people are I have to say this guys for those of you who are English I apologize but especially down here where I am in the south of England people are very strange and I noticed that years ago people are very um, hostile and a bit slow <laughs> but yeah no it's not just that <sighs> You know, as a soul traveller, if you are a genuine soul traveller, you want to be loved and you want to love. You want to empathise and to have people empathise with you. You know, you don't dump your problems on people, but you do share with them. Um, you know, it's kind of... You, you have a massive interest in to in conducting learning learning how to conduct real relationships that are built on mutual respect and honesty and integrity but that can only be done when you do your inner work and, and it can only be done with others who are doing their inner work and if 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 it cannot be done with people that don't want to do their inner work um, clearly but then again it doesn't always tell you now it's not black and white but it just comes home to me how messed up people are and and I'm I am messed up too and I get it wrong too but I will I will own it and I will apologize and I will set the record straight every fucking time and I don't dump my shit onto people I never have and I don't expect people to fight my battles for them I never have done either but right now I just feel I just honestly I feel like I just feel all alone I feel like I'm all alone I feel like I can't trust people I feel like people are just not capable of anything and, and I know that sounds really judgmental and unfair and I know it's probably not true but it's been my experience over the last couple of weeks mm. Ugh. that yeah I don't know it's I mean NPCs behave the way they do because they don't know any better right but when you're dealing with sold people just just using you really just using you then um, I think I've reached the end of it you know I really have I feel like okay that's it now I'm done I'm done here I'm done I'm finished I don't want to I don't want to do this anymore I don't want to talk to people anymore I don't want to give anything to anyone ever again because it's taken for granted I don't get anything back I'm, you know, I can't seem to get my point across. It's misunderstood. People don't listen. They don't hear. You know, I am... Oh, for fuck's sake. Unbelievable. It really is.
I'm fed up, I'm so fed up, I'm fed up, I'm fed up, I'm fed up, I'm fed up with this experience. I do the work and oh boy do I do the work. And you know, we need ourselves but we also need each other people and if we treat each other with this kind of disdain and callous disregard and usury then um, we may as well forget it because it's just not going to happen then it really just isn't I mean ugh. friendships right are challenged we have differences of opinions etc all of that happens Um, we can work through that. It takes two to tango and there's no doubt about it. And there has to be a willingness to understand each other. And with some people, you know, that happens and a friendship grows and develops. But then you get these other people and it's like you never change. I don't know, I just don't know. This whole idea of, of, of the 144,000 keeps coming to my mind a lot because when you think about what a true soul traveller really is, it is somebody who is fluid, it's somebody who knows how to have empathy that is major. It's somebody who knows about what it is to be scapegoated. It's somebody who knows exactly how it feels to be in this world, but totally not of it. Who knows what it feels like to want to be loved and to love. Oh, it's sun. Am I learning? Oh, oh, you know, um, a soul traveller is somebody who is acutely aware, like me, I think, what it feels like to just be dumped on by everybody because the, the, the external is populated with these people. Some of them are souls. A lot of them are NPCs, but like I'm saying, oh, this video is not about how NPCs behave because we can take that as a given. They're going to be assholes and they're going to be narcs. But there are sold people who have issues that they're not working on that will perennially behave that way. And I'm sorry, guys, that I've gone on a bit in this video, but you know, it's how I feel today. Um, you know, and I guess I don't normally do this, but I guess I'm asking you guys today to... You know, to just, I don't really believe in prayer, you know, um, it's its very religious and I don't do that shit, but do, I'll say a little something for me because I, f I feel very low. I feel very low and I feel very exhausted and I'm not well physically, not at all. And I'm really struggling and I feel betrayed and I feel rejected and I feel really fucking badly hurt because just quite a few people of late have been really really shabby with me and I don't really understand a true soul traveler you know knows about empathy it would not dump their problems on somebody and then would walk away um, would it make up stories about a sickness that they don't even have that I th I, it was a shock it was like what I, it, I'm still speechless with regards to the whole thing. I don't understand that at all. You know, would would send you a quick message. You know, would send you a quick text saying, "Oh, received parcel. Thanks. Don't need any more than that." You know, hey guys, would not expect you to get involved in all the drama and all the hate and all the the back and forth slanging matches. I, I never do that. I never get involved in that. I'm not interested, man. You know, if you have a problem with somebody, go and sort it out. Don't get me involved. It's not my problem. What the fuck? This keeps happening. People just keep wanting to draw me into their fights. It, it, it literally has really ramped up, guys, this, this type of stuff in my life and sort of on Facebook and... and well, 
just it's mad it's really mad and it's making me feel really shitty and I'm already really tired <sighs> if this is how it's gonna be and it's I'm just gonna call it a day for a bit I think because I feel like you know I'm just wasting my time it's not I'm not being heard and it cannot I can't do this I cannot live like this and I won't go on like this anymore but I will not associate with people who think I'm a dumping ground all right you are free to talk about stuff that's going on in your life but you are going to listen to me as well you're gonna have empathy and if you don't have that I don't want you in my life I'm not here for you to dump your shit on and I'm also fed up with people that leave comments going on and on and on about what you know how shitty the world is um, you know they were doing that two years ago they were doing that three years ago and it's like I know this why do you feel the need to tell me about it I know how shitty the world can be I'm really busy here trying to find the pearls and the goodness and that which nourishes me I find that in nature I'm looking for it in people I find it occasionally the last 10 days I have found a lot of the exact opposite. The darkness doesn't nurture me, it doesn't help me. Well, it does in a way, obviously. It brings up my own hell contagion, my own feelings of, well, feelings that I don't even have words for really, but. It's just like some people exist to continually remind you of how shit everything is. It's like they, again, this is a kind of parasitical type of thing. It's like, now we're here to remind you how shit everything is. When you're already feeling really shitty. Wow. I know about all these things, you know. I have been a conspiracy researcher for, oh, I don't know, about like 25 years. And there's a lot of shit I know about. I don't need you to remind me. Thank you. I already know. The fact that I don't talk about it in my videos doesn't mean I don't know. I do know. I also read between the lines because a lot of information that you hear, oh, this is what's going on and oh, they did that, isn't always entirely true. I mean, it doesn't seem to occur to these individuals that just because David Icke says it doesn't mean it's true. Just because Mark Passio says it doesn't mean it's true. They believe everything verbatim. Oh, the mainstream media is full of lies, but the conspiracy truthers, they tell the truth completely. Yes, everything Jordan Maxwell says is true. There's a lot of truth there, I will have you know, yes, but there's also a lot of shit that ain't true. There's a lot of these people I don't trust, I don't listen to them anymore, no. Confirmation bias, people, confirmation bias. And shitty behaviour, and selfishness, and take, 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 and no give, 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 and whatever. How about, oh, I'm so, so tired of it all today. I think I'm going to call it a day, guys, and I'm not sure I'm going to post this because, you know what, I bet you any money I post this video and it will all be like crap, you know, because, I don't know. How many soul travellers are there, really? How many of us are genuine, real soul travellers, right? Wanting to love and wanting to be loved. Having empathy and wanting to get that back. Exchange. Everything is an exchange of energy. Oh boy, have I become aware of that in the last couple of weeks. Everything. From... A two-minute conversation with your neighbour to 
somebody leaving a comment below a YouTube video that you read to a phone call to you send somebody something and they don't even bother to get back to you to let you know it has arrived. Everything from, from somebody telling you a complete pack of lies with regards to something that is not actually going on or to elicit your energy. Wow, that was a big one. I mean, honestly, I'm like speechless in regards to that one right or somebody continuing to do something that hurts animals and you keep telling them and they just won't change their way so you, you, you it's like a mexican standoff there and you don't know how to fix that um to just you know even with with soul traveler interactions when you know damn well you're dealing with a soul traveler it can get a bit difficult we have issues it gets difficult we do our best but boy oh boy and it, it it becomes so blatantly obvious how traumatized we are how wounded we are and how broken we are and you get to a point where you think is this ever going to be anything other than this it's like wading through toxic sludge now And it's like there's this consciousness here which is all slanted to the dark side and no, oh, this is all there is and it's all shit. And then there's the other consciousness here saying, no, no, it's okay. You may feel like really, really horrific right now, but it's somehow going to shift. This, this is this parasite cleanse. Yeah, that's what it is. And as bad as everything feels and as bad as everything looks, soon it will shift and it will be different wouldn't it be nice guys if you know this this place just started to really transform our bodies you know and, and the world around us spiraling upwards and and just changing and and you know all these npcs gone and you know soul people seeing the light and getting it and finding understanding about the energetic exchange and saying hey you know what you're right we need to you know yeah getting it things changing you know really changing shifting wow like wow woo i mean yeah it would be shocking but it would also be a wonderful thing because at this point today for me i feel utterly done in i really fucking do and so if any of you guys feel up to it say a little prayer for kismet spiral today because i feel at the end of myself today i really fucking do and i just feel like absolute shit yeah i think i'll call it a day there